Can stress cause hair loss? That's a question I get asked as a dermatologist all the time. And the answer is yes. The New York Times article is great, but if you don't have time to read it or don't have access, I'm gonna give you everything you need to know about hair loss and stress in 60 seconds. Now, before we begin, I want you to remember one fact. It's normal to lose between 50 to 100 hairs a day. Okay, so how does stress relate to hair loss? So if you're going through something stressful, like uh, losing your job, a death in the family, or even things like surgery, illnesses, pregnancy, you can get what's called telogen effluvium, which is a temporary type of hair loss which typically starts happening about six weeks to three months after that insulting event. And what people usually notice is just diffuse shedding. So you're showering and there's just a lot more hair in the shower than you're used to. So why does that happen? Hair normally grows, rests, and then sheds. When you have a big stressor on the body, it can disrupt those cycles and lead to much more shedding than we're used to. Is this permanent? Will you lose all your hair? No, this is a temporary type of hair loss. In a really bad case, people may lose a third of their hair, but they never go completely bald. And if you did nothing, it will resolve on its own in most cases in about six to 12 months. But what if you wanna do something? What I recommend is not spending money on those expensive supplements and just investing in over-the-counter topical minoxidil or Rogaine. We use this off-label, but topically it can help stimulate some new hair growth. I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions about hair loss, I love talking about it, so let me know in the comments below.